internet land. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Today we're opening the Yu-Gi-Oh 2019 Megaton Gold Sarcophagus. And I actually bought a case of these, so these uh, it's, uh, got 12. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't really fit everything into frame. It's just way too many Megatons. I just don't have enough space on my table. Um, shout out to Vagabond Games. This was actually retailed at $40, $40 New Zealand. But um, I think you get get it cheaper if you get a case. Like you only get it for like $30. So it's so actually a pretty good buy. Um, if you want to check out the website, uh, the information is on the description down below. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, start opening these tins. Um, yeah, it's kind of kind of hard to get these things open. It's usually, let me get a knife. There you go. Uh, I think that should work. A bit of a hiccup there. I should, I should have actually opened this before I started the video. Oh, okay. So first off, we got the uh, Exodia promo and the Megatons. Actually, why don't I just open all the boxes and uh, yeah, that's probably a lot better. It's gonna be a lot faster. Be like a lot of rubbish. Uh, Blue Eyes Ulterior Black Dragon uh, on that promo. I'm actually, I'm actually looking forward to getting the the Beeros and the Dark Ruler No Mores. Um, I think those are the promos that actually will retain most of its value for the um, well, for the uh, for the prismatic rares and the other stuff inside the tin. Um, honestly, I, uh, I haven't been playing a while, so I haven't had, got my hands in, in, um, on, uh, Boral, Boral Sword Dragon. Another, uh, Red Eyes Alternative right there. There you go. It's a Megaton after Megaton. But yeah, um, I still need a Boral Sword Dragon. I actually like, I don't know, like, I, I actually like... Ultra rares better than the secret rares. Um, the prismatics actually look really good, but okay. The uh, version of Black Chaos Max. The uh, secret prismatic secret rares actually look pretty good, but I don't know. I just, being like a an old old school Yu-Gi-Oh player back when it was still like traditional format or something. Um, Ultras were actually, you know, I, I think it was just more valuable in our playgroup. Um, new Kaiser Glider. You know, these, um, if you're actually going to get like a case of these, um, prepare to be uh, left with a lot of clutter. Um, we've only gone through like half the case, but. Already I have like a lot of plastic on the side. Um, Palladium Oracle Mana. And, uh, these things here. Pretty boring intro, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, it's uh... Yeah, so Ultra, I'd rather get one, I want to get the Ultra Boro Sword that are Palladium Oracle Mana right there. Or, um, and I actually I think there's Trap Trick in this deck. It's actually a good side deck. Um, good side deck card, but um, it's actually going to retain most of its value. It's, uh, I think this is the only printing, only other printing, apart from its uh, first printing, or uh, the second one. Another Palladium Oracle Mana. It's not something that I'm really looking for, but it's not looking too good. I know what's I don't know what's everybody's um, comment are on 
the Prismatic Raigeki and Prismatic Monster Reborn. I mean, those are two staple cards, like, in everybody's deck. Well, not another. What? Seriously, I better get, like, really good promos um, from these dents. But yeah, I wish, um, I don't know, like, those are actually really good um, cards to, that they made Prismatic Secret. But I just feel like the slot could have been used for something more. Um, Magician Black Cast Max. Um, or two of those on the promos. Oh, it's just two more. Two more, guys. Two more. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I would uh, I would rather have like different slots. The god cards are nice, they're really good collectibles, but you know, there you go. Blue eyes will turn to ultimate dragon. Good, something good for a change. And uh, we are down to the last 10. Oh, we've been like oh, more than five minutes just opening these things. Oh, what do you know? Another Magician of Black Chaos Max. <sighs> Let's just hope I uh, get some good stuff from this thing. Um, so we're gonna take a look at the, so it's 12. So, so far, we got some uh, mostly Palladium Oracle Mana and uh, Magician of Black Chaos Max, but um, Hopefully we get really good promos out of these. I'm actually um, more excited to look at what's inside the Megaton. Let me just stack this properly here. My knife's still open, I would've cut myself just now, but yeah, it's a rescue tape trying to open packs on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I feel that this is actually like a really good set. Um, Every, all, most of the staple cards, most of the stuff that's uh, being used in YCS are actually reprinted on, or as a, put the plastic on the side here, reprinted as um, different rarities. Uh, some rarity bumps, some, mm, not really like a bump, but, you know, it's a, so, it's a, a lot of mega tents right here, uh, mega, um, mega packs here, so. Let's get cranking on the first one. Let's see. So, no, no, no. I want the. Okay, so we have Cecil Observatory for a rare. Vandred Executor. Oh, Thunder Dragon Duo. Beautiful. And our first prismatic secret is that until noble arms are needed once again. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, pretty cool. And, um, yeah, just, uh, maybe left with a stack of common cards after this video. It's, uh, let's see. Um, Monster Reborn Reborn, start a steering contest, Cyber Rev System. Well, actually, I need this in my Cyber Dragon deck. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, Dogman. Oh, shit. This is nice. And Danger Response Team. Huh, that, was, that was actually a pretty good pack. Um, let's see. I'm really looking forward to getting a Boral Sword. Um, I, just wanna, I don't want to spend the money on the Secret Rares. It's, uh, Noble Knight. Um, FAs are here. FA Dawn Dragster. Nightmare Cerberus, okay, that's good. And Danger Mothman, not the most valuable um, in the set, but I'll take it. It's a Danger card. Not not everybody uses it. It's like um, three, four dollars in TCG player. I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, Fulgo Justice for Hire. Incantation. Oh shit! I just, oh oh, it's a Boral Sword. Oh. Oh my god, I need to sleeve this. I need to sleeve this. And I wasn't even looking at the... I wasn't looking at the one that's behind it, which was a... Yeah, 
Most of you probably saw it at Thunder Dragon Dark. Yeah, it's actually uh, that's actually a pretty good pull. I'll I'll probably do like um um uh, a recap on the video. Oh, like what good stuff I have. Um, so yeah, more Sword Dragon on the third pack. Look at that beautiful, beautiful. That's going to deck directly. And this is for sale if anybody wants to buy it. Um, yeah, so I'm already happy. Um, it's only like we've only opened like technically just one Mega Ten. So um, yeah, it's a beautiful Saturday right now, and uh, I have nothing planned. So. Realm of Danger, uh, DDD, Super Doom King, Purple Armageddon. Oh, Pancrotops. Uh, Pancrotops. Um, this actually already has a secret rare, but they bumped it. Uh, they bumped it. Uh, well, can you bump it now? Well, they uh, made an ultra rare one. So look at that. Oh, beautiful. Um, and Nightmare Mermaid. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Let me uh, sleeve this uh, panker tops right here. That beautiful, beautiful card. Um, yeah, so far we're actually like getting really good pulls. Um, let's see what else we got. Hippo Shinigan. I actually needed one of these for my decks. I ordered uh, one from TCG Player, super rare, and uh, I didn't know they was gonna they were gonna repent it as a rare. So. Wait a little bit. Oh, not my unicorn. Perfect. And Sky Striker Ace Hayate. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look at that. Oh man. But the problem is, I do not play Sky Strikers, or you know, nor do I use the Nightmare cards. But um, you know, this this is is definitely something of value. Um, I'm not sure how much this is, but you know. Definitely, both cards definitely have some value in the uh, in the Mega Ten. So um, yeah, I spent about three hundred sixty dollars on this Mega Ten, um, and uh, just looking for a Boro Sword. That's it. And uh, oh, another Nightmare Unicorn and Iron Dragon Tiam Tiamaton Tiamaton. I don't know, but yeah, um, it's um, the Iron Dragon. Tiamaton or Timaton or whatever isn't actually something that it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a janky tech. Hmm, got a Nightmare Unicorn right there. Hope it focuses. Just keeps looking at the Batman. There you go. Um, kind of a janky tech. Um, some decks are trying to use it, but um, not to an extent that it's actually topping any of the. Um, tournaments, Ultra Guys, Kidolga, Sky Striker, Afterburners, Nightmare, Corrupt, Ibli, and then Salma Gray, Heat Leo. Oh. I don't know, I, uh, I never really got into the Salma Grades, actually. Um, I do have the, the Soul Burner deck right there, but haven't opened it because I'm actually waiting for Dual Devastation, which has the uh, ultimate... Uh, ultimate reprints of the, the hand traps. So, uh, Sacred Noble Knight of King Kistanin. I don't know. Uh, DDD Flame High King Genghis. Uh, Danger Bigfoot. Perfect. And Crusadia Maximus. Not the most used Crusadia card, actually, but Danger Bigfoot definitely, definitely has um, some value. Um, it was actually in the Grand Maju deck. I think Grand Maju deck that topped, um, that I'm not top, uh, well, yeah, top. Um, uh, took second place in the recent YCS. Was that Portland? Portland or Texas? Or I don't know, I forgot. But yeah. Let's see. Um, Mirror Force Launcher. It's actually a pretty good card. Cyber Switch, Nightmare Griffin, and Mad Dragon Zernitron. Um, yeah. Wow, um, I probably need this on the deck. Link for, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll find out later. I'm not really. I'm just too pressed for time opening these things. I just want to get cracking, get the rares. I already got my Boro Sword. Honestly, I really don't care at this point. I already got what I needed. 
I should actually stop, but you know, I said I'll open like entire cases to look for a border sword. So we got Knight, uh, Noble Knight, uh, Pelinor, Crossbreed, uh, another Ibli, and another Heat Leo. Oh, I'm actually getting these uh, um, Salomon Great Link Monsters. I might actually be tempted to open that Soul Burner deck to make a Salomon Great deck myself. Crusadia Revival. Uh, Cyber Rev Stream, probably need that. Herald of the Abyss, a lot of people are actually looking for this. I don't know why, but um, yeah, um, uh, can't be bothered reading. And another Xernatron. There we go. Just fix the rare stack right here. But yeah, I was actually, um, w when I saw, when I saw the um, that's getting released. I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I need, I'll say to Draco here, uh, Repro Ducas. Um, this was used in most of the Pendulum decks, but now I think because of the current ban list, um, it's not as, I guess, it's not as, focus, come on, focus. I shouldn't, like, there we go. Um, it's not as effective, and I'll just guys multi faker. Yeah, so, when I first saw the, so this uh, they were releasing this thing. I was like, oh, I need to, uh, I need to get get myself a case. But it was like 40 bucks. So I was like, I wasn't prepared to pay that much. But um, you know, good friends. Oh, Center Frog. Wow. Um, my uh, good friend. Oh, Kagari. Oh my God. Look at that beautiful, beautiful card. Let me uh, sleeve this. Beautiful. Look at that, Sky Striker Kagari. Oh, you know, know, just because I put mat sleeves on it, um, you can't really appreciate the uh, the prismatic secret, but yeah, you know, it's uh, still a beautiful card nonetheless. But going back, like my uh, my friends have vagabond um, James. He actually hit me up and was like, "Oh, we're gonna release. Uh, we're gonna have a case for sale. And it's gonna be like a lot cheaper." And I was like, "Oh shit!" Like. I'm down for that, and so, you know, this video happened. <laughs> um, let's see. That was a really bad pack. Um, yeah, so, um, Noble Knight, World Legacy, Nightmare Phoenix, not used a lot, but, um, you know, oh my god, okay, okay, Danger Jackalope, I need to, I need to sleeve this thing, it's, uh, this thing is beautiful. Actually, one of the more expensive danger cards. I think it's like six, six fifty, seven dollars right now in TCG player. Um, I know Jackalope was used in the uh, that that Grand Maju deck that you know that got second place um, the last place. Yes, so uh, that's a, that's actually like a pretty good one. Um, pretty good card, but. Um, not really gonna use it. Crusader Revival, World Legacy World Crown. That's probably like the four, second. F oh, oh no! Wow, another Borso Dragon, and they and Sekka's Light. What the? What? Sekka's Light and Borso Dragon. That's that's buzzy, man. Like they said that you could only probably get like one probably get like one uh, bull sword from each Megaton but two I don't know it's, maybe it's just me being lucky like last time I put like three blow ice alternative dragons from the um, um, from the um, dark side dimensions gold pack yeah I put like two this uh, two or three and they said you could probably only get like one or two but you know um, I guess I'm pretty lucky Trickstar Bloom, another Crown, um, Reclusia, and Cyber Dragon Seeger. Actually, I will need to sleeve this because this is going in my Cyber Dragon deck. You know, that's the thing about buying buck. Sometimes, sometimes you look for, you're looking for like a single card and you tell yourself, no, I don't want to open any more after you get that card. But then, 
you find other cards in the set that you never really research because I'm the type of guy that doesn't really do his research and you find some cards that you actually need on your other decks and you end up just opening everything and um, yeah just looking for that oh trap trick oh when I saw it when I saw it, it was a ultra rare trap card it was like oh, amazing look at that banish one normal trap from why am I reading this everybody knows the ability but yeah trap trick look at that that's beautiful um, they said that you can only get like one 1.5 trap trick per case, so we'll try to aim for two. Um, it's a good seven, eight dollar card, a TCG player. I'm talking USD by the way, and I'll oh, multi faker, just a multi faker. Oh no, oh, the do the, the, I mean there was one alter guys at the top, um, I think. Yeah, there we go. Focus on that one, trap trick, beautiful, beautiful card. There we go. Yeah, not most picker isn't really the most popular thing on this set, but uh, revival and our incantation held the best and Thunder, Thunder Dragon Dark. Wow. Gotta sleep that. Actually, um, I'm not really gonna. I don't really want to look at the um, video again, but. Um, I think I already got like three Herald the Abyss. Yeah. Oh, well, got a place out of that. Which is, you know, someone might have use for it. Um, Magician Thunder Dragon Fusion. Wow. Oh, another Panker Chops and Cold. What the? What? Oh my. Look at this. Like, you know, get like Cybers Magician. It's like, you know, okay, mad card. Um, Thunder Dragon Fusion has some value. Pankatrops definitely has some value. And of course, Call by the Grave, which is like a $14, $15 card right now in TCG player. Uh, just for that Prismatic Rare, which is, oh, that's beautiful, 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 beautiful cards. Um, that was actually um, one of the good packs. Um, apart from that other one with the border sword and the second slide, but um, uh, value wise, I'm guessing um, that second slide and the border sword um, is, I think, one of the most valuable packs. Um, border sword is, I think, like 25, 21, 22 dollars right now, and TG player. Um, there we go, Panker Tops, Thunder Dragon Fusion, and Cold by the Grave. Beautiful. And Cold by the Grave is like a $15, $15, $15, dollars card right now. Um, if you look at the Yu-Gi-Oh! price guide and, and uh, TCG player, you can actually see how much they're worth. Um, trap pull, Afterburners, another... What the? Wait, what? A third Boral Sword? Is that even possible? Three in a case. And we're like... Three, we only opened like three, two thirds of it. Wow. Another board sword and Morgan and of Avalon. Wow. That's uh, that's so weird. Like I see, I see case openings on the internet and they pull like one, sometimes not like, not even a board sword. And now I got three, like something, something's up. And I, oh, and I got this box sealed by the way. It's not like I chose to, I chose like a bunch of random, um, Mega Tens, I actually got in the box, sealed, unopened, you know, from the factory. Danger Dogman and another Cyber Dragon, a uh, Cyber, Cyber, what the, f uh, Cyber Dragon Seeger. Wow. Yeah, I, they actually gave it to me in a box, so there was no way for me to choose. And it was up to the people in the factory, um, to determine how random the, uh, the polls will be, so... Oh, thank you for the guys in the factory. Noble Knight, Ivan, uh, Talismandra, Ibli, and another Seca Slide. Wow. Wow. Seca Slide. I'm actually getting pretty lucky. Seca Slide is actually... Oh, no. One of the really good cards in this set. Um, and I got two. Three Boros Swords. I've actually... I've practically made my money back. And I haven't even opened the promos yet. Jesus. Um, Merforce Launcher, Talismandra, Reclusia, and Danger Chupacabra. Chupacabra actually hey, has like some some value, I'm guessing. 
Um, yeah, I haven't looked at the the price guide. Hippo Shinigan. Just this thing just makes me wait, wait, wait. What? Another Herald of the Abyss? Wow. And uh, Heritage of the Chalice. Yeah. So I think I have like four Herald of the Abyss right now. Actually, well, I don't really know what that does. Um, I think I'm the type of person that doesn't really care. Um, another Pankratops, wow. It's, uh, that's definitely weird. Um, I never knew you can actually get a Pankratops. This is actually like really, really good card. A lot of people put it in their side decks. Um, main decks, it's like a really good level eight monster. And uh, I already have three of them. Might actually have to, because I do have a dinosaur deck. Might actually, Looking to revamping that. We, uh, Princess Arborea, Thunder, Thunderbird, and Zeratron. Wow, Thunderbird, look at that. Beautiful. I like the secret. Um, Thunderbird rather than the ultra, uh, ultra Rare. I know I've been talking about, like, I like Ultras over Secrets, blah, blah, blah. But, um, the thing with the Thunderbird card is because there's like just so much color on the, on the card that, um, you know, just having a secret rare just makes it, um, more a little bit more beautiful you know so you you tend to appreciate it more um yeah let's see we got uh frog and oh what the another wait 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 wait, wait. this is so weird so thunder dragon dark and uh, i don't even know if i care about the thunder dragon dark but another boro sword really this is my fourth boro sword in this tin, oh, in this ca in this case, but I haven't, I still have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven packs left. That's like two, two point three tins, uh, two point three tins left. And um, yeah, I already have like four Boro Swords. Maybe I, maybe I can get five? This is so weird. I'm, I've practically made money on this. On this set this is oh my god this is let's see oh widow anchor and crusadia equimax wow that's beautiful look at that not the widow anchor of course like there's like a secret one of these but widow anchors actually has like a really good value but you know it's a frankly only sky circus can use it engage i would have loved to get an engage uh, but crusadia equimax look at that beautiful beautiful crusadia equimax link three monster yeah, sleep this. To be honest, I'm actually getting really, really, really good pulls uh, compared to the people on the internet that are, you know, opening a case. I'm actually getting really, really good. I mean, like, if you're like a Thunder Dragon player, you might have like wanted to get like more Thunder Dragon duos or, you know, but, you know, it's a, um, you might have, you might be disappointed in this case but like i'm i'm just looking for a boro sword and he already gave me four so i'm like eh, can't can't say oh i see a i see a link let's see cybers clock dragon um cyber switch reproduce and oh galaxy eye soul flare dragon wow wow that's that's really nice do i need that in my deck it's a dragon oh. we'll see we'll see does it have value? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen it in the valuable card, so. Some of my views, right? I don't know, maybe. Maybe my blue eyes deck wouldn't want it. Um, Never Crap Hole, another Incantation Books. Oh, Trap Tricks, second Trap Trick. So, what, remember when it's end, a Sky Striker Ace Ray. What the? Let's just focus on that. Look at that. N trap Trick and a Ray. Look at that beautiful, beautiful card oh my god um so remember when i said that people usually get like one or two trap tricks so this is you know but people don't usually get one and two or three or four four soul dragons so it's uh look at that sky striker ace ray beautiful beautiful card so two more to go for the uh sky striker engine you probably just need like three of those and you're all set. Um, World Legacy, blah, blah, another unicorn, and another jackalope. Wow, another, you know, probably, probably another $10 card. Um, wow, it's, uh, it's 
beautiful. Ten dollar. When I'm saying like ten dollar card, I'm saying like you know it's a um, in New Zealand because you know it's a got a different conversion rate. We're actually taxed a little bit more. Yeah. Um, Mega tins cost about I don't know seventeen dollars roughly. Let's say twenty bucks, nineteen ninety nine, at your local Walmart. Um, let's say that's like top already, like really expensive. We uh, it's like forty bucks here, so it's just way way too expensive. Um, Insulator, it's actually a pretty good card. Um, Draco, uh, Dogman, and another Seeger. So that's my third Seeger. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of. Cyber Dragon players out there might uh, might actually be looking for this, but it's not like I would need like three in my deck. So we are down to two packs. We've already exceeded four gig on one half of the video, so um, another fur heart and oh Shizuku! Wow, so I got like oh that's oh that's more beautiful. Oh that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Shizuku! Wow. That is a beautiful card. And actually has some, um, well, quite some value, honestly. Um, there we go. Let's see. Paladin of the Storm Dragon. It's like a baby firewall dragon, but yeah. Um, let's see. Sucker and blah, Timation Well. What a nice way to end <laughs> on the last um, pack. But yeah, we still have the promo pack. So that's uh, 12 promo packs. So I'm um, really looking forward to getting a Nibiru. What will say? Um, dark and uh, Dark Ruler no more. Uh, one thing that doesn't really have that value was that other new card. I don't know what, what that's called. So I got Chaos Mass Dragon. Um, oh, Dark Blue No More. I'll turn back Dragon, Dark Blue No More, a Raigeki, and a Wind Dragon of Raw. Wow. You know what's funny? Um, if you actually look at... If you actually look at TCG Player, the uh, Raigekis and the Monster Reborn Prismatics aren't really aren't really that expensive compared to like the other sets of Ultras. I, I would I would have imagined like um, a Prismatic Rare Raigeki and a Prismatic Rare Monster Reborn would um, fetch quite a profit, but um, fact of the matter is, the tin since there's there's so um, you know the, the chance of you getting it in a tin are so high that it's practically a Prismatic Rare, but technically it's like a common. So also Dragon Exodia, uh, Darius Dimension Shifter, not as useful, but you know it's kind of like a hand trap. If you have no cards in your graveyard, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to your graveyard until the end of the turn. Any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Mm -hmm. So, And uh, Slifer and Wind Dragon of Raw. I don't know, should I just leave that? Doesn't really have any value. Well, it probably will have some value in the long run, but I want to get the Nibiru. Neo Kaiser Glide. Nibiru, there we go. Nibiru the Primal Being. And Slifer and Wind Dragon of Raw. I need to. Okay. Really good, really good cards for the side deck. Um, you know, probably not like um, a full main deck card. And here's the Palladium. Honestly, when I was opening these tins and I was looking at the Palladium Oracle Mana, I was like, seriously? Like, if I'm getting all these mana, like, how good is this thing gonna be? But you know, four bow swords, it's. And another Nibiru, wow. And uh, Obelisk and Wind Dragon of Ra. The uh, Kazuki Takahashi art of uh, the, uh, the God cards. I think the Exodia one is also um, Kazuki Takahashi art. I don't know, go figure. Um, let's see, Pendulum. another Nibiru, wow. And uh, yeah, uh, Obelisk and Slifer, wow. I don't know, like, Obelisk, uh, Obelisk, the God cards, um, and the Exodia one, it's probably not something that, um, you know, it's, it's not something that's gonna really have any value, or retain any value, but it's actually a good collectible card. Um, another Nibiru, wow, so I have four Nibiru's now. Give me, like, a Dark Lord No More or something. Um, and, um, well, earlier I was talking about Raigeki and Monster Reborn being, uh, Quite common in the Megatons, but um, 
I still have like one, two, three, four, five, six, like half, wait, six, is it six? Yeah, six uh, promo packs and uh, only got one Regeki, so. Uh, another Dark Ruler no more, wow. Beautiful, beautiful card. Um, Dark Ruler no more in the Bureau, probably like six, around the six, seven dollar range right now. Um, here in New Zealand, it's selling for like 10, 10, 15 dollars. Um, yeah, it's just because not a lot of people are opening cases, I guess. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Dark Lord Moore and a Monster Born. It's like, sorry, like, I don't really care for the God cards because, you know, I'm not really gonna use that, but yeah, there we go. Dark Ruler No More. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. Let me get this to focus. I'm probably gonna need a new camera. You know, rather than buying. $360 worth of uh, Megatons, why not just buy a new camera? I was like, oh, it's a... Uh, uh, probably gonna caught another Nibiru. Uh, what, what, wait, 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 what? Um, a Nibiru, a Monster Reborn, and a Raigeki? Really? Wow. It's a, uh, that's odd, I've never seen that in any of the Megaton openings, so, mm -hmm. Might be my lucky day, so five Nibirus. Three Dark Lord No Mores, two Monster Reborn, two Reg I'm talking about Monster Reborn and Regeki, like they're really valuable cards. They're like two or three dollars on TCG Player, and that's USD. It's probably like four or five bucks here in New Zealand. So, yeah, not the most, but if you want a rarity bump, most of your um, um, staples to, you know, to, to Prismatic Rare, then. Give me a call and I will sell you these. Um, let's see, another Dimension Shifter, another Monster Reborn, and a Regeki. Wow. Oh no, I keep on not sleeving Dimension Shifter. Should I be sleeving Dimension Shifter? Uh, it's not that. I mean, I haven't even looked at all the other rares that are in the um, the Megaton packs. Like some of those rares might have been. Um, might have cost a little bit more, but I like, just didn't. See, I didn't see any value. Another Nibiru, so six Nibiru and another Raigeki. Yeah, they, some of them probably didn't really, I didn't really um, find value. So you know, that's really how you know you find value. It's 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 not. It, it really depends on how much the person values it, and um, you know, basically that's that's the whole. That's the whole concept of trading, really. Um, Exodia, another Dimension Shifter, yeah. Meh, meh, that was pretty meh. But um, yeah, just uh, just a recap on the uh, promos here. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six Nibirus, um, three Dark Rule No Mores. So two sets of Nibirus, one set of Dark Rule No More. One set of, wait, five, wait, four, four, four Argeki and uh, three monster reborn so if anybody wants to rare team bump your uh their um uh what do you call it staples monster reborn by geki let me know I'll sell them to you um so we got like uh, shizuku seeger unicorn danger jackalope uh ray trap trick beautiful beautiful um widow anchor equimax uh boros soul dragon when I've been going to the deck, uh, Thunder Dragon Dark, Thunder Dragon, uh, Danger Thunderbird, um, Pankertops, I think, uh, four Seconds Light, um, another Seeger, another Portal Sword, another Pankertops, Fusion, Cold by the Grave, beautiful, beautiful card, look at that, oh man, um, Dark, another Trap Trick, Seeger, another Portal Sword, another Seconds Light, Danger Jackalope, really beautiful card, um, Kagari here, Bigfoot, Unicorn, Unicorn, Hayate, uh, Pankertops, Boar Sword, and Dark. I think I actually have I've got like a set of ten, Thunder Dragon Darks. One, two, and three. Yeah, it's actually actually got three Thunder Dragon. Did I actually? There we go. Beautiful, beautiful Thunder Dragon Dark. Yeah, there we go. Mm, that's it. Um, basically, I do have other stuff in uh, the pile, but you know, if uh, some of those are worth anything, are are of value to you guys, or you know, they're actually very expensive. TCG player, and I didn't think that they were 
they have any value, let me know so that I don't actually um, try to sell them um, at the wrong price. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, that was actually that was actually pretty cool. Like four Boro Swords, six Nibiru's, three Dark Blue No Mores, and uh, two Seconds Lights. Three. Oh, it's just just too overwhelming right now. I need to go and start building my deck. But thank you, thank you guys for watching. Bye.